protein kinase C also known as PKC is a family of protein kinase enzymes that are involved in controlling the function of other proteins through the phosphorylation of hydroxyl groups of serine and 309 amino acid residues on these proteins. PKC enzymes in turn are activated by signals such as increases in the concentration of diacylglycerol or calcium ions. Hence PKC enzymes play important roles in several signal transduction cascades. The PKC family consists of 15 azozymes in humans. They are divided into three subfamilies, based on their second messenger requirements, conventional, novel, and atypical. Conventional PKCs contain the isoforms I plus or minus, I squared I, I squared II, and I cubed. These require CAR2 plus, DAG, and a phospholipid such as phosphatidylserine for activation. Novel PKCs include the I, I micron, I, and isoforms, and require DAG, but do not require CAR2 plus for activation. Thus, Conventional and novel PKCs are activated through the same signal transduction pathway as phospholipase C. On the other hand, atypical PKCs require neither CAR2 plus nor diacylglycerol for activation. The term protein kinase C usually refers to the entire family of isoforms. Azozymes, conventional, require DAG, CAR2 plus, and phospholipid for activation, PKCI plus or minus. PKCI squared 1, PKCI squared 2, PKCI cubed. Novel, require DAG but not CAR2 plus for activation, PKCI PKCI 1, PKCI 2, PKCI 3, PKCI micron, PKCI PKCI. Atypical, require neither CAR2 plus nor DAG for activation, PKCI to the first, PKCI paragraph. PKN1, PKN2, PKN3. Structure The structure of all PKCs consists of a regulatory domain and a catalytic domain tethered together by a hinge region. The catalytic region is highly conserved among the different isoforms, as well as, to a lesser degree, among the catalytic region of other serine 309 kinases. The second messenger requirement differences in the isoforms are a result of the regulatory region which are similar within the classes, but differ among them. Most of the crystal structure of the catalytic region of PKC has not been determined, except for PKC theta and iota. Due to its similarity to other kinases whose crystal structure have been determined, the structure can be strongly predicted. Regulatory, the regulatory domain or the amino terminus of the PKCs contains several shared subregions. The C1 domain, Present in all of the isoforms of PKC has a binding site for DAG as well as non hydrolyzable, non physiological analogues called forbol esters. This domain is functional and capable of binding DAG in both conventional and novel isoforms, however, the C1 domain in atypical PKCs is incapable of binding to DAG or forbol esters. The C2 domain acts as a CAR2 plus sensor and is present in both conventional and novel isoforms but functional as a CAR2 plus sensor only in the conventional. The pseudosubstrate region, which is present in all three classes of PKC, is a small sequence of amino acids that mimic a substrate and bind the substrate binding cavity in the catalytic domain, lack critical serine, 309 phosphor kepta residues, keeping the enzyme inactive. When CAR2 plus and DAG are present in sufficient concentrations, they bind to the C2 and C1 domain respectively, and recruit PKC to the membrane. This interaction with the membrane results in release of the pseudosubstrate from the catalytic site and activation of the enzyme. In order for these allostric interactions to occur, however, PKC must first be properly folded and in the correct conformation permissive for catalytic action. This is contingent upon phosphorylation of the catalytic region, discussed below. Catalytic the catalytic region or kinase core of the PKC allows for different functions to be processed. PKP and PKC kinases contains approximately 40% amino acid sequence similarity. This similarity increases to 70% across PKCs and even higher when comparing within classes. For example, the two atypical PKC isoforms, 
I paragraph and I to the first slash I, are 84% identical. Of the over 30 protein kinase structures whose crystal structure has been revealed, all have the same basic organization. They are a bilabial structure with AI square sheet comprising the N terminal lobe and an I plus or minus helix constituting the C terminal lobe. Both the ATP and substrate binding sites are located in the cleft formed by these two lobes. This is also where the pseudo-substrate domain of the regulatory region binds. Another feature of the PKC catalytic region that is essential to the viability of the kinase is its phosphorylation. The conventional and novel PKCs have three phosphorylation sites, termed, the activation loop, the turn motif, and the hydrophobic motif. The atypical PKCs are phosphorylated only on the activation loop and the turn motif. Phosphorylation of the hydrophobic motif is rendered unnecessary by the presence of a glutamic acid in place of a serine, which, as a negative charge, acts similar in manner to a phosphorylated residue. These phosphorylation events are essential for the activity of the enzyme, and three phosphoinositide dependent protein kinase 1 is the upstream kinase responsible for initiating the process by transphosphorylation of the activation loop. The consensus sequence of protein kinase C enzymes is similar to that of protein kinase A, since it contains basic amino acids close to the CER THR to be phosphorylated. Their substrates are, for example, Marks proteins, MAP kinase, transcription factor inhibitor EB, the vitamin D3 receptor VDR, RAF kinase, calpin, and the epidermal growth factor receptor. Activation Upon activation, protein kinase C enzymes are translocated to the plasma membrane by RAC proteins. The protein kinase C enzymes are known for their long term activation. They remain activated after the original activation signal or the CAR2 plus minus wave is gone. It is presumed that this is achieved by the production of diacylglycerol from phosphate adilinositol by a phospholipase. Fatty acids may also play a role in long term activation. Function A multiplicity of functions have been ascribed to PKC. Recurring themes are that PKC is involved in receptor desensitization in modulating membrane structure events, in regulating transcription, in mediating immune responses, in regulating cell growth, and in learning and memory. These functions are achieved by PKC-mediated phosphorylation of other proteins. However, the substrate proteins present for phosphorylation vary, since protein expression is different between different kinds of cells. Thus, effects of PKC are cell type specific. Pathology, protein kinase C, activated by tumor promoter forbal ester, may phosphorylate potent activators of transcription, and thus lead to increased expression of oncogenes, promoting cancer progression, or interfere with other phenomena. Inhibitors, protein kinase C inhibitors, such as roboxystorin, may potentially be beneficial in peripheral diabetic nephropathy. The protein kinase C activator in genome mebutate, derived from the plant Euphorbia peplus, is FDA approved for the treatment of actinic keratosis. See also, serine 309 specific protein kinase, signal transduction, Yasutomi Nishizuka, references. External links, protein kinase C at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings.